Good afternoon and welcome to another adventure. Today we're going to the Lantern Festival here at the Columbus Zoo. So let's go. What is the Lantern Festival? So if you saw our last zoo video, probably a couple videos ago, there's all these like animal, I don't know if it's paper mache, they call them lanterns. So we saw them during the day, like, okay, cool, what animal? But tonight they'll be all lit up like beautiful lanterns. So Val, what's open? Okay. So most of the zoo is closed. Like the actual animals are put away. Um, the Manatee Aquarium area is open. Asia Quest is open. The like sea lion tunnel is open. And then the Jack Hanna animal encounters over there, the stingrays, the reptile building. Those are the ones that are open. So no bears. No Heart of Africa, like giraffes and lions. Um, no gorillas, that whole area is closed. Australia is closed. All of those animals are already in bed. Well, yeah. first time for this event here at the Columbus Zoo? It is. We've seen the lanterns not lit up at Cleveland. I think they have it every year. We saw it at the Louisville Zoo, but this is the first year that the Columbus Zoo has had it. We have made it into the Lantern Festival here at the Columbus Zoo. Of course, the sun is shining right in our face. The sun will be going down soon. But I think in the meanwhile, we'll probably go see some animals. Right, Val? Yeah, let's go see a few. So everything is already lit up. It's just hard to tell right now. That's pretty neat. They got an eagle here actually moving its wings. That is pretty daggum cool. We'll come back a little bit later and see it when it's lit up. So Val, since it's not really lit up yet where would you like to go first we are gonna go see the manatees i love them it's one of the few animals that are still out it doesn't matter if it's light or dark so then we can see the lanterns when it's fully dark so usually when we walk under the bridge the flamingos are out on the other side but as val said probably not tonight well look at here what a surprise well, the flamingos are out that's great let's go take a look I personally didn't think they were going to be out either, but what a great surprise. <laughs> Can you believe they're out? I can't, I thought for sure they'd be gone and they're super loud again like they were last time. This one up front is hopping around, must have an injured leg, I'm assuming. All right, let's go to the shores and aquarium where Val can see. Let's go see the manatees. They're gonna be cooler in 20 minutes, but look at this. Nice. I didn't know they were gonna move. I didn't know they were going to move. Like during the day, they were just stationary, but several, like the eagle's wings move, their mouths move. It's so cool. <laughs> also, Kathy has joined us today. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Ed. So if you're coming here to the Columbus Zoo to the Lantern Festival, keep in mind that the manatee exhibit closes at 8.30. Let's go see the manatees. So usually the first thing we see is the pelican perched up somewhere, but today, do, oh, I do see it way back there. Let me zoom in. There's a stingray just relaxing. Let's go see if we can find some manatees. Not out yet? No, they have the option of going in or out right now and they're all in. Bummer. Yep. Appears to be a dragonfly when you walk out of the aquarium. Now that's pretty cool. Okay, it's still not totally dark, but it is darker. Ed's eating, Ed's eating Dippin' Dots. We walk to the back of the zoo. We're in Australia, so we're gonna start back here and then make our way front and see all the cool lanterns. They've got some kangaroos up here in Australia. I love how they're, they move, like his head is moving. So cool. Oh, 
like we said, the area is not open. Can't go see any of the animals. We can hear the birds. Do you hear the birds chirping back there? The birds are chirping. I hear them. Do you know that I love birds? He loves birds. I wish I was in there feeding them. You can't, you can't feed them Dippin' Dots. That would not be good. I mean, not Dippin' Dots. <laughs> some of their food next mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Nope, not tonight. They are closed. Bummer. Standing by the Australia. Probably the closest we'll get to Australia. You think? Not our favorite, anyway. I meant the actual continent. Oh, it's okay. not really on the, we got a long list. It's not really on the list. Well, we are closer, you know, in about a month, but it's true. We're not it's true. where we're going yet. <laughs> we're just continuing the loop, but Congo also closed. So gorillas, bonobos, all that fun stuff. If you want to see those animals, go back a couple videos. We had a really fun time here a couple weeks ago. But now, it's still not totally dark. But I think we're gonna go see some lanterns. Over here we've got gorillas outside of the Congo area. So cool. Mom said they're not very colorful, but they're still cool looking. Oh, let's get this guy. He's the big daddy silverback, you can just tell. And then across the way, hi Ed. We're gonna go sneak a peek at the cute little koalas. Still part of Australia back here. They're so cute. Cute. So now it turned out to be a wonderful night. It did. We thought it was going to be super hot. It's a little warm, but not too bad. We've got the orangutans over here. It's a little family, just like we have. Little baby Clementine. Got some cool peacocks over here. Beautiful. I love this. We saw this one on the way that way when we were walking to the back. So cool. Turtles in a waterfall. Yes, Ed. There's a big tortoise back there if you want to see I'm it. Wanna go look at it? Okay, can we see it in the dark? Maybe. So there's two of them back there. See them? Oh my, them? barely. Yeah. Yeah, one on the left there and then over in the corner. Oh, you there. can see it so much better in the camera. It's like dark. Yeah, dark. Yeah, I see them. One there. I'm zoomed. See one there. And then there's one right there by the building. Yay, giant tortoises. It's a cool peacock. Everybody's getting their picture with the peacock. Cause he's so cool. Apparently there's live entertainment too. We didn't even know that up towards the front. We'll see if we catch any. Here's the, this is open. So far we've only seen manatees, but not even actual manatees. And these are all the closed ones. Penguins! Penguins! On the other side of the penguins are just some really pretty flowers. Some frogs. Frogs outside of the aquarium. It's a cute little turtle and crab. We have some flashing fish outside the aquarium. These are cool. So cute. Here's the alligators now that it's dark. Pretty cool. A big guy down there. We've got flamingo lanterns. We saw real flamingos. Here's the lanterns. More flamingos with no people in front of them. Monkeys. This is cool. We've got cheetahs up in a tree. There are so many people over here now. The other side was totally empty. Cool. Got some hippos. They look terrifying. These are not hungry, hungry hippos. These are scary, scary hippos. 
Mom said, look, they do have camels at the zoo. Yay. If you don't understand that comment, go back and watch our video called The Camels Are Gone at the Columbus Zoo from about a year ago. One of my new favorites, the rhinos. We don't have any rhinos at the Columbus Zoo right now, but they have them at the wilds. <laughs> look at that cute little meerkats. Meerkats. Cute. I think I said cute for everyone. It's like jellyfish out in the middle of the lake. Those are pretty cool. The big fountain. Beautiful. Love this. We've got all of Africa. Got elephants over here. We've got giraffes. This one's really cool. I know, my favorite. I'm gonna walk around and get them in the face. Here's the giraffes from the front. Across from the giraffes and elephants, we've got a bunch of zebras, a bunch of kids in with the zebras. They're not touching the lanterns, but they're close. So we came back around to where we started to get the cool eagle in the dark. Ed's favorite, probably your favorite animal overall, would you say? Yeah. Bird-wise, I would, I would say. Ostrich is up there somewhere, because I'm weird. <laughs> I didn't see any ostrich lanterns, but the eagle one is super cool. So this is the part, has lots of animals. You've got deer, there's some wolves. There's some like moose over here that looks cool. There it goes. Moose. The wolves are over here. Mom said. So uh, we must mention when you come here to this event, especially when it gets dark, it is like bumper to bumper in here with people. It's very, very crowded. So if that's not your thing, well, yeah, just here to let you know. Yeah, it's super crowded. Hasn't Valerie done a wonderful job of taking over the video tonight? Yes, yes, she has. I think she's done a wonderful job. <laughs> All right, we're going to go head over and see if we can see the sea lions. It is 8 13. It's supposed to close at 8 30. So We'll see if there's any over there. Okay, just kidding. The sea lions are open all the way till 10 when the event closes. Oh well, we're here. We're gonna go see them. I'm excited because I love the sea lion tunnel, but normally with the sun, you can't see anything. So I'm hoping that they're swimming around and we'll be able to actually see them tonight. Folks, they have the lights turned off. We cannot see anything. Quite the bubble. It's like echoey and dark. I feel like we're not supposed to be in here. Why would they have the exhibit open if it's not actually open? Don't exactly know what happened there, folks, but let's move on. Sad, no sea lions. Okay, now I'm really annoyed and I love the zoo. I'm annoyed. We could hear them. So I thought, oh, maybe they're up top. We'll be able to go up there and see them. No, it's closed. We can hear the sea lions, but we can't see them. Well, let's go try to see the stingrays, shall we? I think we shall. All right, so we're walking back to where the stingrays are. There's lots of lanterns over here. Lots of like underwater creatures and plants and stuff. Good news, folks. It's open. So Stingray Bay is also open till 10 and it really is open. You can see all those people in there. Looking at the stingrays. So you have to wash your hands and then you can touch a stingray. Mom's over here, she's gonna touch one. We have done it before. Oh, he's got one. Good job. Stick your hand in the water, Mom. I feel like they don't wanna be pet. Nobody is coming near us. It's empty water. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Still too far away, but it did come closer. That was cool. We are in the dead zone. 
Nobody wants to be pet. Oh, here comes some, Mom. Oh, oh, he's gonna get one. Yeah! Oh, here comes a big one. Look at that guy. Oh, my. They just don't like this spot. Oh, oh, I think here's, here's our chance. Here's a good one. Don't fall in the water. Yay! Did you touch it? I don't really think so. <laughs> I got all the way up to here, my <laughs> I need another inch. He, he was very low. Here's this one. But I to try it. Yay. <laughs> you got that one? I got it. It's a cool butterfly lanterns. So pretty in their wings move. Valerie wanted me to show you the cool tunnel that we're walking under as we get close to the exit of the Columbus Zoo. Ooh, ah. Uh. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. The end of the Columbus Zoo Lantern Festival for us. It only runs one more week. It was the month of August and September. So when you're watching this, it's probably over. Um, if it comes back again, it was fun. It cost $19 to get in. It was very crowded. It is a Saturday night, um, but it's cool. I like seeing all the lanterns. I'm glad we did it. Kathy, your final thoughts? Well, we can say we were here and we don't have to do it again. The lights were pretty, but not something I need to do again. I agree. And with that, I leave you this. Thanks for watching all of our videos, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.